is going on guys, name's Free. welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle discussion video. Uh, it pertains to the Pilaf's Trove. Now, this isn't going to be a rant or anything in particular like that, but if you came into the game, you know, we see that there are a couple of other packs available now, actually like three more packs available. So I'm going to go over them and we're going to talk about them and, you know, my general thoughts on them. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are new, please consider subscribing as always. Let's take a look at it. So the first pack was pretty cool. Premium pack, opening celebration pack. I think there was a second one in here that's no longer listed, but it's like 40 bucks, 30 bucks, something like that. So it was still like a moderately good deal because you also got summon tickets for the banner at the time, that God banner. But this one, starter pack, uh, did offer a summon ticket and, or no, that's a SSR ticket from the Baba shop where you can get like the Bob, the, uh, Bojack movie Gohan and some of those other new rebirths or soon to be rebirth units. They gave you dragon stones and things like that. So it was a really cool value, right? Six bucks, that's awesome. But now we look at what they're doing here. So once a week, you can purchase each of these packs. What they offer is 600 small orbs, 300 medium orbs, two, uh, 20 large orbs, and then a few locations and some random friend points. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into that. So it requires what, like over 5,000 orbs to 100% a unit? Like it's an absurd amount of orbs overall collectively, uh, especially the smaller orbs. It just amounts to a whole glut of orbs. So just using 5,000 as a baseline number, because I feel like it's a little more than that actually, you'd have to buy this literally nine to 10 weeks straight or something like that in that area, minimum of eight weeks or so, to be able to 100% a single unit for a single color. It's $20 per one time. You guys do the math. What is that? Over 200 bucks <laughs> for one color? That's absurd. That's that's ridiculous. Like, this wouldn't be such a bad thing if it like was 20 bucks for maybe enough orbs to get a unit to 50%, 55%, and that'd be awesome, right? It wouldn't be that bad if it was like something like that. But to literally say, we're gonna give you some training locations, some random generic friend points, and enough orbs to maybe go down one path. Like for example, this is enough orbs to get you top left path, pretty much all of it. That's about it, aside from the, the large orbs, I don't think that's enough large orbs, especially if you have a dupe to go the upper top left path. You know, it's enough orbs or something like that. This is a massive ripoff. But I will say one thing. Something like this is appealing to the top 1% of this game's revenue source, right? The super, like, elitist players that have the money to spend on this, if you will, consistently day in and day out will find this to be an amazing deal. What truly is a great deal is something like JP got recently where you can summon all the type specific banners. So for one, it's only costing you like 50 stones if it wasn't discounted. You know, 50 stones to summon. You get more orbs than this and 10 units out of it. <laughs> I don't know what this is. There must be some sort of legal law or something. You guys can let me know if I'm mistaken. That stops them from being able to do this on JP. Because Pilaf Show is not a thing on JP, right? It is on Global, and it's a cool thing in theory. And I'm not particularly mad about it because a lot of other games do have a concept like this where they offer packs and stuff like this. We're going to get into this stuff in a minute. Um, like, for example, Brave Exvius does that, and it's like, okay, it's an incentive. You don't have to go out and pick it up, so I can't be too hard on it because you don't have to go over there and spend your money on it. You can just ignore it. You don't have to click it and spend your money on it right it's not a priority for you of course as always spending money in this will give you an edge in the game sure because you know you're not having to sit here and grind this or that or the orbs or whatever but nonetheless it's a choice it's not a requirement so i can't be particularly too hard on it but i will acknowledge that it's a ripoff it's just simply not enough product for the actual cost of the product you know what i'm saying it would be better if it was enough to do something, but that's not enough. That's that's like, I'm not gonna use the analogy that's coming to mind, but like, that's not worth it. And then this one is three times, I'm assuming it's three times overall, could be three times a week. We'd have to go back into the news to check that out because this details button doesn't actually say. Either way, 15 bucks for this? <laughs> for this? <laughs> some swords, some shells, and some metals. 
Three times. 45 bucks to get you 90 Gregories. <laughs> 30 Bobbities and these other rare metals. Oh my gosh. Six turtle shells of each color. Ooh. 21 swords. Yeah, not worth it. Sorry. This one's actually pretty interesting. Like, if this one was 15 bucks, I wouldn't be so mad about it. But it's 25 bucks three times. So, they give you a diamond statue. What is that? Five million zenny? I can't pull it up here. Sorry if I'm, like, not knowing certain things off the top of my head. I'm not perfect. The two Kai medals per Supreme and Elder. That's cool, I guess. 100 incredible gems just screams, hey, you don't have to farm. And the five tickets. Now, the five tickets are for this. <laughs> Hercules fortune summon what's in here? Oh Just these gotcha. They're actually really cool though, right the diamond platinum and gold one So at the minimum the worst one you're gonna get is the gold one. That's not bad And you're gonna get five of them. It's only good if you're looking for Zenny That's the only real reason to get that right wrong wrong section. It's the only real reason to get that I don't understand what they're doing with this. I don't know what this is going to come into being in the future right i don't know what their plan is with this but it has scary scary potential as far as like being a money grab and you know the entirety of the game to an extent is actually geared towards making you pay money it's everybody starts off as a free player but it's geared towards trying to make everybody a pay to play pair and that's fine all these gacha games are like this naruto blazing every single one they may handle it a little differently, not be so blatantly obvious about it, but that's their end goal, right? So as far as you know that, that's fine. It's just this, it's like, it's a cool incentive, right? But even for me, like I can spend this money. Like It's not that big of a deal and I wouldn't mind it, but I'm not going to because it's so little. That's my real issue is that it's not really the cost, it's the amount, right? You know, because that's what this is for. It's supposed to be like a secret area for you to go into to get your edge up on the competition of other people playing this game. And that's fine. It's just not worth it. <laughs> but again, it's supposed to appeal to a certain demographic. And if you're not part of it, you can simply ignore it. So that's me. I'm going to ignore this stuff. Although it's going to be kind of annoying seeing it here for 163 hours weekly. But it is what it is. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, if you did consider subscribing if you have any thoughts feel free to leave in the comments it's not a rant i'm not gonna do all that in this video i'm not a big advocate for that even though every now and then i gotta you know i gotta regulate but have an awesome day and i'll catch you guys later on